Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. I have two people ruining my intro right now. I swear they materialize when I say hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Like, what is going on here? Why is there a traffic jam right now? Hello? I'm just trying to record a video and look at Patty in the back making her way downtown, walking fast, ready to ruin Froggy Crossing's intro. Anyways, hello and welcome back everybody to another video. Today is gonna to be kind of a long one, so strap in. I am fully prepared to go all in today. We are gonna be doing a bunch of stuff on the island, mainly decorating slash builds. I wanna finally release my dream address, so I need to get my island nice and ready for you guys so you can come and visit and not judge me for all of the flowers that I have everywhere, like Patty is right now. Look at that judgmental stare. Anyway, we're gonna get a lot done today like i am planning to just record like literally all day today um i was preparing a little bit last night but not too much i'm running kind of low on items so we may have to do a lot of time traveling and stuff like that to order some stuff i've also been checking nooks just to uh make sure that there's no items that i don't want to buy or something or i guess that i do want to buy would be the correct term i suppose okay um yeah i'm not really interested in any of this oh my goodness why is my joy con low battery please I'm supposed to record all day today. You can't do this to me right now. But I think what I want to work on first is the chicken coop. Because if you didn't catch my last video, Violet is finally, finally out. Why is the Abel's... Why do they not open until 9? What the heck? I have to wait a whole hour. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not waiting a whole hour. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I've also been wanting to check Abel's because I want to give my villagers like new clothes. Like, I want to give them some farmy, farmcore outfits. So I've been checking Abel's to see if they have any cute clothes. I was able to order some stuff. Like, one, like, gingham shirt. That's really it. This is so cute. Uh, no, but not anything that I'm looking for today, unfortunately. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. I think the first thing that I want to work on is the chicken coop build. Because if you didn't catch my last video, Violet is finally gone. And now we have Miss Profina. But now we have to figure out um, a chicken coop for her and Goose. Currently, she's on the beach. Currently, Goose is in the neighborhood. So we got to move some houses around here. Okay, I have a plan. It's gonna involve a lot of time traveling but hear me out so currently nan is in this little secluded area surrounded by a bunch of water right makes zero sense she's a goat why does she need to be here you know who will be perfect right there tad who doesn't currently have a home so we put tad where nan is and then we put nan where Goose is in the neighborhood. And then we put Goose and Brofina kind of like in that little empty back area right behind the little semicircle neighborhood, right? Get it? Okay, that's the plan. So I guess who does it make sense to move first? Um, I, I suppose Goose, we'll just do Goose first. I can't take him seriously with the sunglasses. <laughs> I really can't. Now I'm zooming, zoom in to go move Goose. Oh, we also need to take down the Christmas decorations. Don't let me forget. I don't even know, Ugh, look at this back there. I don't even want to think about <gasps> have i always had that wait what <laughs> wait what <laughs> i don't even have a ladder what the heck did i know that i was five star i didn't even know i was five stars i mean i'll take it you know i will freaking take it see this is where i start not knowing what to do because i have all of this like area back here and i ju i just don't know what we're doing here like what am i doing with this river what am i doing with everything i have no clue see like i started terraforming this river a little bit and terraforming this section like above Nan's house. But I think I will fill this river in super quickly just because I want some extra space here for this chicken coop. Like I literally want to put it right where this river is. So let's clean this up really quick. Okay, there we go. So I think we can safely put some of the houses or there are two houses that we would like to put here. I think I'm gonna put the first house literally right here, right in this little section. That'll work. Okay, and now I need to time travel to move the next house. But since we are gonna be doing builds and everything, I'm gonna be ordering some stuff every single time 
we time travel just to make it easier on myself and so we have stuff to like work with you know oh my goodness it never fails every time i record a let's play there's a villager at the campsite <laughs> okay well we'll go see who's in there let's just see who it is no need to uh dilly dally oh it's apple hey i've got an apple orchard want to come okay i don't think she wants to come live at the apple orchard unfortunately just gonna check nooks really quick again just in case there's anything no not really actually i'm gonna take this tiger because i do potentially want to do like an antique slash farmer's market type of thingy but i do need like a bunch of just random items so I'll take some of those. Okay, thanks guys. And let's check Abel's for some clothes. Yeah, once again, not really anything that I want. Wait, maybe we could give one of these to a villager. I'll order this blue one. Next, I'm going to move the next villager, I suppose. Okay, what are we looking at? What was the plan again? <laughs> I already forgot. Okay, yes, we're moving Nan into that spot. Okay, so we're gonna move Nan next. Ah, it looks so empty. Let's get Nan in here quick. Stat. Okay, there's Nan. Once again, gonna order some items and go to tomorrow. Okay, we're back. Let's go check nooks. Keep on this little routine we got going. I will buy this little like hourglass thingy again for the like antique, what's it called? Farmer's flea, flea market. Oh, I have no money. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I just got more bills, so we're loaded up. But while I'm here, let's move the next house. We're gonna move Tad into Nan's spot. I might end up um, redecorating this area as well since this is for Tad now. Okay, so I think our game plan now is just to move good old Rofina up there next to Goose. Okay, I went ahead and checked Abel's and I got the little plot thingy from Rofina. So now I'm just gonna buy this fireplace and nooks. So now I'm gonna put down Goose's plot, but I wanna have the two houses kind of like combined, I guess, in a way to make this chicken coop. So I do wanna figure out like my foundation, like how exactly am I gonna build this chicken coop, you know? I definitely wanna use this thing. It has like the hay on the top, so I definitely wanna use that or like the straw, whatever. So then like I could put the house literally right next to it here but is this gonna be the coop like that i don't know if that makes sense i kind of want to get rid of some of this cliff back here so we can push it back a little bit more let me go get my ladder okay i have no clue where my ladder is and i have exactly zero wood to make one i'm just gonna go buy one i'm hoping you can buy one from nooks i don't even remember because <laughs> like you make one ladder and then that's like the ladder you use you know like who loses their ladder apparently me <laughs> and i just ran right past nooks because i was too obsessed with making a joke a joy con not now please please <laughs> okay they don't sell ladders i am so dumb but they do sell axes which i will buy one of those so i can go chop some wood so we can go make this ladder so we can go climb up the cliff so that i can go just make this stupid chicken coop that's all i want to do okay there this is all i wanted this is literally all i wanted I don't know why this was so hard. <sighs> Put the axe away, Raven. Put the axe away. Okay, let's go ahead and do what I was wanting to do this whole time. I'm gonna fill in this lake. Oh, also, we need to scoop this bad boy up. Please tell me. Yes, I brought a shovel. That is so exciting. I can't believe that I got one of those. Anyways, I'm going to fill in some of this so that we can push the cliff back a little bit. And then we will get to work on that chicken coop. Okay, well, that's just a rough kind of uh, terraforming for now, but we'll fix up all the nice little details in a bit once I finish. So I'm just gonna push this back, I'm trying to think of how I wanna construct this. I have some storefronts, I always like using these. Now, does that even make any sense? I don't know. <laughs> I need my simple panels because we're gonna do some simple panels with some chickens on it, of course, because that's gonna be the chickens in our chicken coop. Okay, I forgot that I ordered all my simple panels and they're all in my mailbox, but I had one lonely one in my storage, so we'll just use these or just use this one just to like kind of figure it out. So what I would do is probably do simple panels all up against uh, these gazebos and I guess should we do two we're using two villager houses for this this has got to be like a big build instead of being up against the side of the house because that kind of looks weird 
um, we could push these forward and we could push them over kind of like this. So that way they're like acting as like the doors and it'll be like, of course, mirrored on the other side and then you can walk in and then there's the chickens. Okay, yeah, I think this is the plan. We can finally put the other house down. How the heck am I gonna do that? <laughs> uh, I guess just trial and error, I suppose. Well, that only took me two tries. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and order a few more items that I know that I'll need. Probably more simple panels. I don't think I ordered enough. And then I will time travel so that house gets built. And then we will finally be on our way to doing this chicken coop. So see you in a sec. Okay, now for the worst part where I go through all the stuff that I've been ordering and putting it in my inventory and then opening all of it. That's the worst. I hate it. Last night when I was kind of prepping for everything, I did get some new custom designs as you can see here mostly for the chicken coop but some other random ones like this little squirrel so i have a link down below to like a google doc that is full of my custom codes so you can go and check there if you want to download any of them or get them or whatever i need to finish happy home paradise so that i can customize all the villager houses and make them look a little more cohesive because right now they are very mismatched and all that but i will be like customizing them once i get my button gear so i'll probably make them match a little bit better with the storefronts eventually anyways let's get to work so the first thing that we have is this hay i thought we could do hay all over on the floor in the chicken coop okay there we go just like that now let's go ahead with our little chickens i already ran out of simple panels cool 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 okay finishing this up we are almost done just putting in the last one cute oh i love them okay please tell me i have the other storefront yes i do in my inventory thank you very much <gasps> wait a sec <laughs> the gazebos no <laughs> They are not matching right now either. Oh my goodness, I can't get back here. It's fine, we just have to climb. We just have to climb. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. Oh, hay bed, hay bed. I wanted to make a hay bed. I don't even think I have enough weeds. I need to go collect. Give me one moment, please. Why did I think that hay beds needed 99 weeds? I Why did I just run around my island collecting 99 weeds? Okay, it takes 20. We're good. <laughs> now that we have the hay bed, we can start to put some little accessories in here. I was thinking the hay bed could kind of go right there. That's really cute. I don't really know what else goes in a chicken coop. I'm gonna do a little tin bucket so they have some water to drink, of course. And hear me out, I'm gonna do a wheat field like just barely peeking out of this side, kind of like that. I think that's really cute. Maybe I'll pull this bucket over just by one. There we go. I'm thinking maybe we could make a little gate because I know chicken coops have to be like closed. You know, they have to be shut. So do I have anything that we could possibly use to make a gate? <gasps> what? And I already had hay beds. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think we'll do that. Do I want to keep this wood color? I think I will just because it kind of blends in with like the hay kind of tones. So I want to do some supplies like right outside, right? Of course, we got to have some supplies. I thought we could do a little green box. What does this have? This has a little garden sign. We'll just turn this around uh, just for like some color. I feel like we're doing a lot of wood tones here. I'm going to do like a little barrel as well. And then on this side, I've got like the little sideways barrel which is so cute and i'm gonna do a garden faucet as well because that's where they're gonna you know get like the water supply to refill the chicken water um we're gonna do a little puddle of course if there's any item in this game that revolves around water like water pump water anything like i'm putting a puddle underneath of it even porta potties i've done it and i will do it again I'm just moving the puddle up a little bit because i feel like that makes more sense right yeah because that's like where the water shoots into yeah okay and of course i had to get a little custom design of some chickens so we have some little baby chicks and i'm gonna put these kind of sprinkled throughout here and we also got the chicken feed let's turn this around so cute i'm gonna do more chicks over here oh my goodness they're so adorable another new custom design i got was this little hay thingy so I was thinking that could go right where I'm standing. How do I get this right where I'm standing? There we go. I just feel like for a farm court island, I don't have nearly enough hay everywhere. Like I feel like there should be hay literally everywhere. You know what I mean? And I think I'll do some little leaves just for some color. I feel like this will look a lot better once we time travel to the spring slash summer because right now the, the snow is not the vibe. It's not the vibe, but I really like this. I think this is an adorable little chicken coop. Honestly, this didn't take me that long. Like once we finally got focused on the chicken coop, this was pretty simple. So I really, really love this. But I suppose since we're here, we might as well like work on the rest of the houses, no?
Okay, let's go ahead and put that silo here. Look at how it all comes together. Adorable. Of course, I'm gonna do this hay fencing because... I mean, obviously. <laughs> I may have to get rid of this. This was kind of randomly placed for Christmas and... I'm sorry, poor sled. You're gonna have to go. Dude, my Joy-Con has been hanging on for dear life <laughs> this whole time. Oh, let's do a windmill on the other side. You know how I love these windmills. Ah, yes. I went ahead and gathered up some things, so we're gonna get to work. I just wanna do a little itty bitty mini farm, of course. Like, you know me. I wanna do a little bit of a wheat farm because I think that'll be good because of the chickens, you know? Chickens, wheat, hay. I'm just gonna do kind of an asymmetrical little farm. That's really cute. So we're gonna stick with that. And then I brought a bunch of little like accessories, as I like to call them, that I enjoy putting near little farms or just big farms or just really any farm. Um, first of all, a scarecrow. I mean, I think this is self-explanatory. Actually, let me put it up here. I feel like this makes more sense. Or not. Okay, just kidding. We can put it here. I don't know why the game was giving me a hard time. Um, does it make sense that the scarecrow is coming out of the water? No but it's fine. Just don't think about it too much. I also like to have things such as a hand cart. This might be a little bit too much yellow, but we're just gonna roll with it. Honestly, I don't feel like changing that up. We'll just put this on the side. Let's move this over a little bit. Oh, can we put it literally right up here? This would be real nice. Let's make it as difficult as possible to get in the door. You know what I mean? Super random, but I forgot to put something on like this. Oh, Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, I meant to put it on here. We will put this little wheat decor. And I know this is really random, but I'm gonna drop a little tree branch on this barrel. I just think that's so cute. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some little rocks, just kind of like make this little mini path. I wanna sprinkle in some more of these little chick designs. Um, let's put them here in the garden, like they're escaping and they're coming and eating the wheat plants or something like that. Now for the other house, I have another storefront and I wanna just like, scooch this behind the windmill. Let me just pick everything up. That's just gonna be easier. But first, of course, we gotta have something, some sort of custom design. Can't have this ground just be naked. What are we thinking? Okay, let's see if this works. Yay, that looks good and centered. Perfect. I would love to move this tree over literally just by one singular space if possible. Scoop. Okay, and we're moving that over literally by one. And I'm gonna put this log chair here. I customized it with like a piece of the blanket pattern that I have. I thought it looked really cute. Let's put this right in front of the house. That looks good. Oh my goodness, a little firewood chopping station would be so cute. I think I need more wood to make a uh, log stool, which is what I want to also include. Let me just grab some of that really quick. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. This is gonna be so cute. Okay, so we're gonna have the little stack of firewood. Then we're gonna do the log stool. I'm gonna actually put a rock down first and then we'll put the log stool right on top. There we go. And then we're gonna place the ax right over here. And there we go, there's our little wood chopping station. Really simple, but really cute. I think let's do some more little chicks in the corner over here. Some little leaves. And I'm gonna toss a bush back here to grow just for a little bit more greenery. And then I'm gonna do these little garden steps underneath. I do have to push this over. Being so rude right now, chair. I can't believe you would do this. Maybe we'll actually extend the steps. Why don't we do another line of them. I'm thinking it's gonna be like a little deck, you know, like a little front porch, kind of like made out of wood. I think that I think it'll be cute. I like it. All right, we'll keep that. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the houses. We've got our little yards on each side. We've got the little chicken coop and we've got the little yard on this side as well. So my next thought is like, what am I gonna do with all this empty space? I have no clue <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm gonna do on this side, potentially um, do more stuff over here. We'll see. I might come back to that. Um, let's go work on some other stuff because I've been staring at this area for way too long now. <laughs> so let's go work on something else. Let's fix Nan's house. It got kind of messed up a little bit. I know it destroyed a chair that I had. I need to go grab that from the, what's it called? Recycling box. Nan's house is fixed. Um, while I'm here, let's scoop up all of these flowers that have been spreading everywhere. And I'm gonna fix these with like my little clear custom design. I've almost like overwritten that custom design so many times, especially yesterday when I was getting more custom codes. I was like, why don't I just have a blank spot right here? Let me just fill it up. And I was like, wait a sec, no, no, no. <laughs> that is my little clear design. Please don't fill that up because you are going to make a grave mistake, Raven. As I'm walking along, I'm just gonna pick up 
any stray tree branches, any stray weeds, stuff like that. And as I'm running around my island, I'm trying to think where I want to put the little flea market. I definitely want to do a mix of like food because I have like these cute custom designs that I can use for it and stuff kind of like i don't know antique flea i don't know i think i think it's just flea market i think i'm gonna go with flea market i can stop calling it an antique market because i think those are very different i'm like where is there even space definitely not back here i'm thinking maybe possibly back here by molly's house because we do already have this little apple stand so this could kind of like be part of it unofficially oh my goodness look at all the weeds no stop doing that oh my bottle actually that looks so cute right there i'm gonna leave it there at least until i save my da you know hey molly how would you like to run a flea market oh don't look at this this is where i was beta testing my <laughs> my chicken coop i was like maybe it'll fit over here it did not yeah i think this could work this could be like the little flea area like right here and we can utilize this cute little uh, what's this called? The Peninsula. My Joy-Con, I swear, has been low battery for the past two hours. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joy-Con. I left it on the Switch overnight. I don't know what happened. We can also use this little, like, beach part and the rock. Oh, yeah. This is where we'll do it. This is where we'll do it. I think this is the perfect spot. And Molly will be, like, the cashier. You know what I mean? That's where you check out. I'm gonna finish cleaning up here. I think it's just these flowers on the beach and that little dresser. I'm gonna go grab a storage shed so we can have easy access to stuff. And yeah, I'll be right back and we'll get started. Okay, besties, we are going to get into it. I just recorded this entire voiceover with my mic muted. I'm gonna scream and cry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I forget already what I talked about. Don't you just love when that happens? <laughs> I feel like I've been doing this for so long. I should know to like check these things by now, but of course I don't. But anyway, I'll just give you a little rundown of what we're doing super quick. So I wanted this to be like a combination flea market and kind of farmer's market. Like kind of have an area where there's a bunch of random stuff that's being sold like a typical flea market and also have a spot for like farmers market stalls fruit and vegetables type of thing i think i talked about it earlier in the video so that's what i'm doing here i'm setting up like the items area and uh i may end up putting more little thingies but i tried to make little buildings with the storefronts and the little like tables the counters um so yeah and then here with the stalls i'm setting up the little like farmer's market area where we're gonna have the fruits and veggies and stuff like that but anyways one of the things i talked about in my voiceover that sadly never came to fruition was i just hit 100k on tiktok which is pretty crazy so i wanted to say thank you for that i really appreciate it even though it's so funny because i feel like i just kind of repost clips from my youtube um i was talking about how i'm such a youtube girly and i just don't i don't understand how i hit 100k on tiktok because i'm such a youtube girl i've always watched youtube videos growing up like if i ever wanted entertainment it was youtube 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 um i was never on like musically and stuff and i didn't get on tiktok until super late you know by the time everybody was already on it like in, i think like in 2020 i kind of started but i wasn't like committed or anything as in like posting stuff for froggy crossing but i actually went to playlist live um last year and if you don't know what that is it's kind of like a convention for people to like meet their favorite creators and it used to be youtubers like all these famous youtubers would go to play this live kind of like vidcon type of thing but i went and it was so crazy because it was not any youtubers it was all like tiktokers and like people who do um youtube shorts it was all short form content and i sat in on like one of the panels and stuff like that and they were interviewing like these creators who do the short form content full time and it was so crazy like this these people's whole lives and careers i mean it was just crazy to me because i'm a youtuber um, that their whole lives and careers and everything, all the work they do is just like 10 to 60 second videos. And I know that sometimes that can be just as much work as like a full 20 minute YouTube video, like trust me. But I was just like, wow, like I, I it just kind of blew my mind just because it's like, oh, we're totally different line not different lines of work but like how i did things compared to how these people did things was so different and it's just i don't know it, it just blows my mind you know <laughs> like thinking wow there's people that just they just make a 10 second tiktok and that's you know that's pretty much their day and don't get me wrong like they can spend hours and hours and hours like on that 10 second tiktok doing you know reshoots trying to get the angles right writing the script you know even though it's just 10 seconds but you gotta get it like perfect down to the word because you only have 10 seconds like sometimes that's a lot more pressure 
versus me who I can just ramble on like I'm doing right now about random stuff and it's like oh yeah it's like a long YouTube video whatever like people just sit through it like they come to expect you know like a 20 minute video so if that 20 minute video is filled with like five minutes of rambling it's okay because you know it's all relative to the 20 minute youtube video but if a 10 second tiktok is filled with five seconds of rambling then that's half of the tiktok and yeah i don't mind me just going on this whole tangent about like tiktoks and short form content the whole point is um I am very grateful for hitting 100k on TikTok, even though I don't get it. I'm just posting to stay hip and stay, you know, with, with the kids, hip with the kids, you know what I mean? YouTube is definitely my main baby. So, hey, you know, all my all my YouTube subscribers, I, I love you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. I also wanted to give a big thank you for just, you know, sticking with me all this time. We just hit 560,000 subscribers, which is like, I still don't wrap my head around it. I still don't. Like, I still don't wrap my head around me having 50,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. It's it's just like so insane to me that it just keeps going up and up and up. So I just wanted to say like a big thank you. Like I really do appreciate it. Like I've talked about it a little bit before, but I truly had no direction in life when I started this YouTube channel. Um, even before that, like I didn't know what to do coming out of high school. I never went to college. I truly didn't think that I was ever going to find any sort of like professional job. I was like, I don't know how to do anything. Like I am just a person here and I don't, I have like two brain cells. I don't know what I'm doing. So the fact that I have found something with <laughs> relatively okay stability and something that is actually making me feel happy and fulfilled and like impacts people, like that's another thing too, you know? A job is still a job and I'm just very grateful to have a job that impacts people because that's really important to me like i want to make a difference you know okay i need to stop rambling i keep going off on these tangents i'm gonna have to cut so much out of this but long story short i am very grateful for you thank you for watching and i'm gonna stop being sappy now because you probably just want to hear about animal crossing maybe but thank you so much that, that's my whole point just thank you i'm grateful for you glad you're here and you are amazing and yeah just stick around because it, I, it would not be the same without you here trust me anyways back to the build right now next to molly's house i decided to make like a little storage area she's kind of like the cashier like head honcho of this whole flea market setup so she's got a little bit of storage area back here with some barrels and stuff like that maybe some extra crops maybe some extra whatever here and there so that's what she's got going on and i know everything's looking a little bit washed out right now trust me it's the snow the snow is making everything look kind of weird especially her house with like the little covered counter it kind of looks like all one color it doesn't look that great with the snow but spoiler alert i do time travel later in this video and it looks better with the green grass trust me like a thousand percent better so just wait until that later at the near the end of the video and I was trying to put down this, uh, what's it called? The little like string lights and it was giving me such a hard time. It was so annoying. So I was struggling with that for literally like 10 minutes. Now I don't know what to do for 100K on TikTok. I feel like people usually do something for that, right? I was just like not really expecting it, you know? And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's a thing. So I'm gonna have to figure out something to do for that. But I see people do giveaways a lot. Maybe we'll do something like that. We'll see. Another thing that I was talking about in my deleted voiceover was that I recently got a Stanley Cup and I've been really liking it so far. Um, I think I talked about in a recent video, maybe it was in my last vlog, that I have been really bad about drinking water. Like I'm really terrible with it. Um, sometimes I'll go days where I only drink like two little cups of water and it's really bad. So um, I have gotten so many TikToks um, talking about the Stanley Cup and one of my friends even came over the other day and she had a Stanley Cup and I was like, oh my God, like, how do you like it? I've been seeing it everywhere. And she was like, yeah, it's so good. Like, I'm terrible about drinking water, but I drank four of these things today full of water. And I'm like, what? That's like a 40, it's like a 40 ounce water bottle cup thing. I'm like, you drank four of those? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it has like a handle. And it has a straw so it makes it easy to hold and easy to sip because you don't have to like tip it back you know like tip it up to your mouth to drink because especially if it's big and heavy it's really annoying to like tip a water bottle back if it's like humongous you know that's how i felt about the water bottle i was using for a while i would have to like tip it back but it was always so heavy i would have to use two hands and i felt like a giant baby like using like a i don't know like drinking out of a bottle <laughs> so i've been liking the stanley cup um i'll update you if it does actually promote me to drink like a ton more water we'll see 
Um, but yeah, I've been liking it so far. We actually made like a super late night run to Target to get one. It was super fun. But anyways, just wrapping up the build here now, putting in some last minute details. I hope you liked this. All right, I think this is looking pretty good, pretty good. We've got all of the little cute areas over here. So I do have some empty space. I don't like it. What is all this? I want to fill this in with stuff. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to use crops as decoration. Cause like, why am I not doing that? This is a farm core island. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do a sugar cane right here. We'll do some little pumpkins over here. I have a pumpkin in my inventory but i think i just want to finish this off by adding some more wheat fields i was thinking some right here behind this fence and then a few over here on the sand and uh yeah just wherever else i can like fit one squeeze one in because you know me i love wheat fields um let's see let's put a little speaking of wheat let's put a little wheat sprout right here i am going to call it there for now for this section uh let me order the wheat fields and we'll put those back whenever i time travel next i was thinking we can work on tad's house next it is very cute but i think we can make it a little more like taddy you know what i mean i'm gonna grab some items and i will meet you back there let's see what we can do here i'm gonna pick some of this stuff up i really like this little like mini pond that i made right here but I do have like the big, what's it called? Oh my goodness, the, the cute little thingy, glowing moss pond. And I would like to include that. So I'm like debating, should I just get rid of that little pond, even though it's so cute, but then it's like, ugh, doesn't even make any of this accessible. I don't know, water. Let's just, let's just try it. Okay, let's see if this thing even fits. Watch it not even fit. <laughs> and I just did all of that for nothing. Okay, no, it fits, just kidding. This is so cute. I really think this is adorable and very frog-like, you know what I mean? We'll include it, we'll include it. I think I'm gonna do a little sugar cane plant right here. And then we will do a little rock and a butterfly model. I think that's really cute. I'm also gonna put that duck that was here back on this little puddle. I don't know why I'm doing a bunch of animals. And then, I actually don't mind these little mushrooms that are here. I feel like that's kind of like a swamp feel, swamp vibe, you know what I mean? I'm gonna get rid of these bricks though. Let's do the little stepping stones instead. Or would the mushrooms look better in front of the house? I feel like it's kind of a waste putting them on the side like that. Oh, some flowers would be really cute actually. Let's put some dirt. I will do some dark dirt. Okay, I just threw down whatever I had in my inventory. And then I'm gonna do this little floating planter over here. I think that's good for the side. Okay, let's go over to the side. Let's hop on over to this side. <laughs> I like the green mushroom lamp that's already here. I will definitely keep that right there. Let's maybe put the mush log, put this over here instead. And on top of it, let's see what we got. I think I'm gonna do that little toy ducky. Or should we do the frog cap and then we just like turn it around? So it's like frog. I can't take it seriously because I w wear it so much on leapfrog and stuff. So I just see it as like the back of my head, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm just going to do the toy duck instead. I will leave these custom designs. I will leave that bike. I think the bike is cute. It's like green, so it matches the house anyways. Idea. I'm going to make all of the wheat grass or the wheat fields green instead they'll fit so much better oh absolutely we're doing this we're doing this okay i literally had to go all the way to harps to do that that was so annoying but i think it's gonna be worth it i made all of the wheat fields green like i said and we're just gonna go ahead and do those oh yeah that's so much cuter oh yes and then i also took the mushroom partition and i also made that green because i thought that that would just be better you know why not let's just lean into the green you know what i mean oh i also need to fix the path right here that's looking a little bit messed up since i had to replace the house since we did a bunch of moving and rearranging sometimes i really wish i could just hack my switch just to freaking like speed up the movements <laughs> i've seen people do that before where they literally have like modifications on their switch to make them like their character just like super fast and to make all the animations quicker and i'm like oh i wish i wish i could anyways i forget where i had the rest of the wheat fields i'll just put them wherever they look good and then i know there were some back here but i'm thinking i kind of want something tall behind it let me just go grab like a lamp or something like a street lamp honestly i've just been using whatever items i have in my storage and like yeah we've been time traveling a little bit but for the most part i'm just using whatever i've got 
And it's been nice. It just feels like I'm kind of cleaning out the old inventory, you know? A little bit of New Year's spring cleaning or something like that. I think I'll just do this green street lamp. That's pretty cute. I like it. So we'll also do a wheat field. And then I think our final one literally right here and i think that's pretty cute just some minor changes to oh my goodness i almost called him jeremiah <laughs> to tad's yard but i think that that will make all the difference and make it a little more frogified you know what i mean let me clean these flowers up these are deciding to spread i i swear like i put the clear custom design down everywhere but somehow flowers still find places to spawn i try to do all the damage control that i can but somehow it's never enough next i'm gonna go ahead and take down all the christmas decorations uh yeah i have forgotten to do that i should have done that at the very beginning so yeah let's take down all of these little thingies little christmas designs designs items i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm pretty sure i had a moss ball here before and i just happened to have one in my inventory oh i was gonna use that in tad's yard oh well i think i had some bottles on top of this barrel honestly they were not that cute anyway why don't we just drop a mushroom on top that's cute okay we'll pick up this christmas tree oh i need to get the centerpiece back out the i don't i almost called it a, a oh my goodness i almost said dongola but i was meaning to say gondola but why am i saying gondola Oh yeah, that's okay. That's I'm getting that confused with gazebo. Help. <laughs> gazebo. Gazebo. Let's go put it back. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't think I had anything else Christmassy back here. You know what? I'm I was gonna pick up this fossil, but I'm honestly just just gonna leave it. I think it looks cute there. We can pick up these fossils over here. I don't know when I'm gonna time travel to summer, because that's the season I wanna save my island. But I'm like, do I keep working in the winter? Do I just play like the same time as IRL? You know, like it's January for me. Should I keep playing in January? Do, should I just go to the summer and be like, oh, forget it? You know, like let's go play in the season that I'm gonna save this island in. Not quite sure. Let's also get rid of this rock. Oh my goodness, it is in the way and so annoying. I'm also gonna pick up the little holiday candles and instead, these might look kind of silly, but I thought I could put these little planters. And of course, like I'll change this throughout the seasons. I don't know, I may end up changing that later, we'll see, but that's just kind of something cute that I had two of. So I'm like, okay, we'll just do that. Another rock in the middle of the freaking way. Who is doing this? Who is letting them spawn here? Did I have anything in my entrance? I don't even think I did. I did very little Christmas decorating. Oh, but let's pick up this trash. Oh my goodness. Here's where my ladder was. Are you freaking kidding me? Why am I digging a hole? <laughs> I'm so mad. I like just start digging uncontrollably. <laughs> I don't know why it was there. Okay, well mystery solved i guess oh my god there's more <laughs> i just climbed up this cliff and look at this no at least this is naked really i honestly am more done with my island than i thought i was really the only empty space is like up here which is okay which is right here behind the neighborhood right this is where i am by the chicken coop so we've got like this little section i'm running in all of this area with the flowers and like i do have this cliff but it's pretty small. Like, I was just... Let me just climb back up. <laughs> I'm like, let me run around to show you. But it's, like, not that big. The point is, it's, like, a lot less than I thought. And then if you go over here, um, this is literally where Jeremiah's yard is. So there's also all of this and uh, the river. There's also this tiny little section that I have here. I don't know what the heck I'm going to put here. Let me actually just time travel so I can get those wheat fields and we can finish up like the flea market area and just call that like 100% done. I time traveled to such a snowy day. Kind of dreary a little bit. Let's get this finished off. And then like I said, I wanted to do some behind this fence. So I will just do one there. Then I'm going to put some back here on the beach. Let's do one just like right there. That's perfect. Yeah, I think that is good for this section. Of course, some of this stuff has to grow in, like the bushes and the little wheat thingy. Why is she dressed like a robber right now? Are you literally about to go rob nooks? That's another thing. I need to give my villagers like more farm court clothes. I think I was talking about it earlier. I don't know. I've been recording for so long today um, that I just don't even remember what I've been doing. But I still need to find more enables. I've been looking. All I have is like a shirt and like the little hat that we order and that's pretty much it. Wait, we have a lost item. Cute. I'm not gonna give that back. I literally never give them back. They make such cute decor. But anyways, I'm just gonna plant some trees. Probably just like another layer or so. Okay, I literally used up all my trees and I feel like it barely made a difference. Ah, I don't know how to fill in this area. Something that I'm very bad at is like filling in areas. I feel like a little pond would be kind of better what if you know what okay 
Ideas are coming to me. <laughs> Ideas are coming to me. What if we literally make like a little water bridge type of thing? No, my Joy-Con. No. It lasted us so long, besties. It lasted so long. She had a good run. She had a good run while it lasted. Okay, this is going to be kind of tricky because of the trees that I literally just put here. Oh my goodness. Should we just pick this up? <laughs> Let's just pick this up. I'm also going to move this tree. I just feel like... It was kind of awkward right there because there's a little path right here and it's like boop you know you hit the tree okay i literally just made a circle basically and i don't like that so let me make this corner kind of like a different shape there we go it's not as circly and symmetrical let's just continue on this side and we'll just see what happens Okay, I think that turned out pretty cute, dare I say? We have the two little pawns and they just take up the space so nicely and I feel way less stressed now because I had truly no idea what to put there. So I think I'm going to keep those and I was thinking we could put some sort of design on here to make it look like a bridge. Uh, I don't really think I have anything so I may just put this wood path. Would this look bad? Let's check. I love it. Now, okay, okay, let's let's make it even better. I'm thinking either those tall fences or like actual fencing. Um, I'm gonna see what I've got, but like I wanna put some stuff on the side of it. This is obviously the wrong color, but we have this. I also brought a wood partition. I brought some corral fencing. I think I like the actual fence because it's tall. I'm gonna order it in the damaged colorway. I think I finally am gonna time travel to where the grass is like pretty green. Maybe not all the way to somewhere, maybe like at the very beginning or maybe like the end of spring or something. But yeah, I wanna see my island in the green grass and we can take a look at all the builds I just did like not in the snow. Oh my goodness, everything is so green. I feel like I have missed this so much. Wow. I mean, we were also just in winter and like I was actually playing through that quite a bit. This feels so green. This feels so green. Oh my goodness. All the weeds have overgrown so much. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. I, I don't like the overgrown look too, too much on this island. Okay, I think my little thingies blend in now a little bit. Maybe I need to go like a month later. I'm in May, so maybe I was doing it based off of June or July grass. I can't remember. Thankfully, the flowers did not spread too much from what I'm seeing. Oh, the grass is just so nice. Let's go look at the area we were just working on. I'll have to fix that flower. Let's go look at the... um the flea market. This is so cute. Oh, the green grass just makes it so much better. I feel like it looks kind of washed out, especially Molly's house um, with the snow. So I think it looks so much better. This little empty spot is killing me right now. What can we put here? Oh my goodness. I, c I can't have this. I can't have this. Custom design. Quick! We need a custom design in here. Stat! Why do I feel like I've made that joke already in this episode? <laughs> um, anyways, it's looking so cute. I love it all. Oh, it looks so good. Now I want to go see the chicken coop. I mean, of course. I feel like that's going to look super cute with the green grass as well. I just really love the grass. I feel like it would be such a challenge for me to do like a winter island or to do even a fall island because I just love the bright green grass. I don't know. It's just so good, you know? It's so bright, so colorful, so cheery. Okay, here's our little bridge and our little ponds. They look so cute. And here's our chicken coop. Oh, yes. I feel like it looks so much better. So much better. <laughs> okay, why did this rock respawn right in front of this house? Are you kidding me? Um, So there's obviously some empty space right here. I definitely want to fix that. But I feel like that's easy enough. And same with over here. I'll probably do some sort of little path. Maybe something going up over here. I have no idea. But for now, let me go put these fences here that I just picked up. Okay, there we go. I think that is so cute. Love it, love it so, so much. Our little fake bridge. I think we got a lot done today. We moved around a lot of houses. We built this whole chicken coop and the whole antique area, which did take care of three villager houses. So let me check. Is that all my villager houses done? Molly has a flea market, uh, Punchy farm hand, uh, Winnie has the barn. Goose has the chicken coop. Maggie's in the neighborhood. Nana's in the neighborhood. Tipper's in the neighborhood. Tad has the little 
um, isolation area. Brofina in the neighborhood. Patty in the neighborhood. Yeah, all of our villager houses are done now. So that's a really great accomplishment. And our island is just that much closer to being complete. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Thank you guys so, so much for sticking with me. Um, I know this is a long one, but I was kind of, I don't know, like craving to do like a super long video. I hope you got some joy out of watching this, just putting it on the background while you're doing whatever. Anyways, let me stop rambling for my outro. Oh, my dream address will most likely be coming out in the next episode, potentially. I still need to do a little bit more on the island, but... Yeah, that should be coming out hopefully in the next one or two Animal Crossing videos. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on your way out and subscribe if you haven't already. I very much appreciate you. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.